I'm switching it on now. So it's on. Wow, that's right? so <laughs> cool. <laughs> Very quiet, eh? Just have to wait for the others. How far so can you drive in one of these? It. So you can drive, you, you see it here. So that's our battery state of charge. It's full now and we can go 138 kilometers. Wow. So um, I use this vehicle probably after 3000 kilometers, I pr probably put up 2.5 of that because I'm using it for all my business trips to Joburg or to the city. And, um, and to go to Joburg back and forth with 138 kilometers, uh, easy. Yeah? Wow. And, um, um, and if you if you do that, I mean the, the the cost the cost of doing that for us for the CSR is is very low because yeah. um, it's a, it's very efficient. It consumes much less energy than a diesel or petrol driven car, okay. and electricity in South Africa is still uh, cheap. Yeah. So is it as cheap? Uh, so is it cheaper actually than a normal car? Much cheaper. Okay. Yeah. With, with this one, we pay we pay approximate for 100 kilometers. The electricity that we have to buy for, for it to run 100 kilometers costs us 15 rand roundabout for and 100 kilometers. By battery, or and do you yes, by battery. I, I can show you the charging uh, oh, okay. later. Okay. So it's 15 rand for 100 kilometers. Mm -hmm. If you drive the same size of vehicle with diesel, then you have to spend 100 rand roundabout. So it's 85 percent less yeah, fuel cost. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, how long does it take to charge a car like this? Um, if you if you go for a fast charging station, which, of which we have some in Gauteng, um, you can you can charge it from 20 to 80 percent in 15 minutes. Um, but that is only if you have a fast charging station with very high uh, amps going through the cables. Um, if you you can connect it at home at your normal power socket as well, but there of course you are restricted with your amps. You cannot push too much power through it. Um, and then uh, it takes you six, seven, eight hours. But but that means if you uh, if you have that car at home and you come, if you come home from work, you charge it during the night and then in the morning it's fully charged. It's just not something. It's it's not something that you can that you can use for a long trip to go from here to Cape Town and then un unless you have fast charging stations along the route. Yeah? yeah. But that's not what it's designed for. Yeah? It's designed for urban context. And you wouldn't happen to know uh, how many charging stations would be around should one want to go to a place like Cape Town, for example? Well, uh, you probably, can none. Like probably none. The at Nissan, the the yeah. Nissan Leaf mm. can be charged at a Nissan garage. They have charging uh, stations okay. Okay. at Nissan garages, which they have in most towns. So electric is the future, yeah? Wow. <laughs> and the acceleration is the best about it. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't have a... Um, I mean, uh, there are certain additional aspects of an electric vehicle. Which you don't have a gearbox, so your electric oh, motor doesn't. It, the electric motor runs from zero all the way to the 160 that it can make um, uh, at maximum, uh, without any gearbox in between. You don't, don't change gears. Uh, you don't have a clutch. Yeah. Um, the, the the brakes you barely use because um, let me let me show you that now. So I'm what I'm doing now. I just get my foot off the accelerator. And you see how it's breaking. I don't do anything. I don't. Yeah. I don't break. Yeah? Okay. Um, the reason for that is that as soon as I get off the uh, off the accelerator, um, it starts to recuperate the energy. So the the the, the electric motor turns into a generator, so and stopped. and takes the energy out of the forward movement, converts it back into electricity, and charges the battery. You can you can see that here. Um, See, if I accelerate now, you see that this here, it goes into e-power, which means we are consuming from the battery. Yeah. If I now get off the pedal, it goes into charging mode. You see? Okay. So now it's pushing the energy back into the battery. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly the reason why this vehicle is so efficient, because whenever you brake in a normal car, you lose the energy mm -hmm. that you put into the car to actually drive 100 kilometers an hour. Not, not so in this car. A, a good portion of that energy we get back. So now we are now we are discharging, and now we are charging. Okay, charging. Okay. So as soon as you let go of as soon the as accelerator, let go. yeah. Correct. Okay. So, so you, you see, I'm not I'm not braking. You will you will see it later. I, I'm not I'm not um, I'm not using, using the brake, brake pedal. Yeah. yeah. And and what that means is so I, I, I came from the operation and maintenance side of things. Mm -hmm. No clutch, no gearbox. The brakes will last you for 250,000 kilometers because you barely ever use them. So. The, the maintenance of such a vehicle is very low. Yeah. The, the, the really the only 
real cost item, and that's a significant one still, is the battery itself. Because the battery is the most expensive part of this whole vehicle, and the battery, they give us a guarantee of 10 years for the battery, but um, I mean, at the moment, uh, where we are in the techn technological development, uh, you will still have to factor in battery replacement. So then where would you purchase the battery or where would you purchase the car? Does it come with uh, extra battery or do you continuously have to purchase? Um, I think that's something where the automotive industry still have to get their head around okay. what what you do. Yeah. Whether, whether you take the vehicle and replace the battery mm -hmm. or whether um, you buy a brand new car. And also like uh, second life of the battery is a big consideration at the moment. Like um, if this a battery, it's the same as for your rechargeable uh, batteries at home for your for your cell phone. You know, it doesn't die completely. It just mm -hmm. loses its capacity. Yeah. So it might go from one day of standby power to, to six hours and four hours and so. But there's still some residual value yeah, in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what you can do, and people are thinking about that already, when it when this comes to an end of its life for automobile. Uh, automobile uh, applications because it's just it's only 20 kilometers left it's still a large battery that you can use for um, um, in, uh, in in grid con you, you can connect it to the grid and you can use it as a home battery for example mm -hmm. okay and the comfort in the eco pro uh, so comfort is what we drove now okay. um, if you go to eco or eco pro your range gets uh, wider now with eco pro we can make almost 160 kilometers and what's happen what happens in Eco Pro Plus is that we cannot use the air conditioning mm -hmm. because that consumes extra energy. Um, the speed is limited to 90 kilometers an hour mm -hmm. um, because when you drive very fast, that's, that's when you consume most of the energy. Okay. So there are some restrictions to mm -hmm. your driving, but it gives you additional kilometers. And if you go back to comfort, you can do everything, the air conditioning goes on, and but you have less. And in regards to releasing emissions? fossil fuels and, and all of the stuff, you know how you normally well, when you're driving? Yeah, uh, well, no, no, no direct basically. emissions from this car, okay. nothing. Um, the emissions are caused by the power stations that that we sure. need to to produce the electricity that goes into the car. Okay. But but there again, that's that's so that's why... So the burned fossil fuels, um, correct. nothing yes. of a sort? Um, well, the burning of fossil fuels happens in the ESCOM power stations, okay. and that's where the emissions are generated. Okay. And then the electricity that uh, that you put into the car is basically coal-based electricity in South Africa. But if we, but if you now switch the electricity component to renewables, then you're completely emission-free. So then you would recommend that people start looking at um, this kind of car instead of a for, normal car. Yeah, I mean for for urban for it's urban settings, this is the future.